Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, we'll be showing you how to use Kid Studio Parental Control. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you use Studio here? What are the things you need to do first? So first things first is we need to go to their official website, which is going to be kidstudio.com. Now, the good thing about Kidstudio here is you could use this on Windows, Mac, Chrome, Android, iPhone, or iPad, and you could also use this on Kindle. So it is available on different platforms and different devices out there. Maybe an Android device, iPhone, or iPad, they will be able to support it. Now, in this case, uh, what is the pricing here for Good Studio? So currently, when we go to the pricing page here, you have the option to get this at a uh, 82.95 year subscription. So in this case, you just need to pay it around 82.95 Australian dollars a year. So depending on your region, the price itself might change. So it's better to actually check out their official website. Now, they also have the complete version here, which in this case includes uh, different tools or advanced tools. So in this case, it will be around 149.95 Australian dollars a year. Now, you could go ahead and buy them or basically try the service first. So they give you or they give out uh, three day uh, free trials for accounts that sign up via their website. Now, usually you just need to go ahead and click on sign up at the top right here. And from here, you can go ahead and just uh, provide the details that you want to use for your custodial account. That includes your name, your email, as well as a password for your custodial account. You also need to agree to terms of service and privacy policy here in order for you to start using or in order for you to create your account. But in this case, I already have my account created. Let's go ahead and click on the here link here in the sign in button here. And let's provide our details here and I'll be showing you how to set your account up. So I've just logged in here. So in this case, since I've already set up my account here, you could see the dashboard immediately. But if this is the first time that you're accessing the dashboard itself or your custodial account, you might need to set up a few things. Like for example, you need to add a child. And in this case, you just need to provide their details like their name and a few things here. So it will also actually show you how to add a device here. So in this case, uh, I'll be showing you via this UI first. So if you want to add and a child, you can go and click on add a child here, enter their name and also the gender and birth year. So whenever you are the first, if this is the first time they're accessing your account, this is the first thing that they'll be asking you. The next thing they will be asking you is going to be adding a device. So in this case, uh, you need to uh, basically select a device here, maybe an Android, iOS. So it's going to show you uh, steps on how to basically install it. So what you need to do is you need to open up the Kid Studio Kids app which in this case, you could get it from Google Play Store for Android. In this case, I'll be showing you how to download it. So let's go ahead and switch over to our phone. And as you can see right now, we are now inside the phone. Let's go ahead and click on install on the Kids App Custodio. And once it's actually fully installed, we should be able to start setting this up for our account. So let's just wait for it to install. Now in this case, you can go and click on get started here. And from here, it's going to redirect you to the path, the account creation page. But since we already have an account, let's go and click on log in at the very bottom. And from here, we just need to enter our email as well as the password that we've used to, for us to create our account. So let's go and provide those details and hit unlock in. Now, once logged in, it's going to say protect this device. So let's go ahead and click on that button here. And let's go ahead and add the name for that device. So in this case, I'm going to retain this one, but you can name this whatever you want. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, from here, that device should now be added into our custodial account. In this case, we need to choose who's going to be using this account. So if you have another child, you can go ahead and create another child here. But since we already have or we've already created one, let's go ahead and choose this account here. And once you've chosen that, the account itself or the device will now be assigned to that specific user or that specific account, and you'll be able to start managing their details. So in this case, let's just wait for it to fully load up. So from here on, it's going to ask you to enable a few things here. Let's go and click on Let's Do It. And from here, let's go ahead and reporting. Let's go and click on Go to Settings here. So to go to downloaded services and look for custodial kids. Let's go ahead and click on it and make sure that accessibility is turned on. Click on allow. And from here, it's going to ask allow using tracking. Again, click on allow now. And from here, we need to look for custodial. Let's go ahead and click on it again. 
and click permit use each axis it might ask you or uh, give you a danger warning here but in this case you could go ahead and i'm aware and from here like let's go ahead and click on ok so that's what the reason why you're receiving that is because you'll be giving admin access on the device itself for custodio so we need to do that let's go ahead and allow notifications look for custodio here again enable it from here again enable this one and from here we just we need to wait for the countdown to complete what's but once it's actually completed you can go ahead and click on ok now from here it's going to say allow app display click on allow now enable this one and from here we need to allow permissions click on allow and allow only using the app activate device admin same thing click on activate now click on activate this device admin app and make sure to uh i'm aware click on the i'm aware section wait for the countdown here to complete once it's actually complete you can go and click on ok now let's go and click on finish and we've just set up custody kids in our mobile device here so in this mobile device uh will be assigned for your child so remember only install the custody kids into uh your uh on the device that will be using or that that kid will be using so in this case, you can go ahead and use start using it. They could access this one. So in this case, it's going to give them some information on how many time they spend on the uh, cell phone itself or the mobile device itself, the time spent here, and a lot more. So in this case, let's go ahead and head back into the uh, desktop version so that we can start managing this account. Now, when we go back into the desktop version here, as you can see, the following profile is now activated. Now, when we go to devices, our device is now, or has been now added. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on the device section first. Let's go ahead and click on this one. So you have two options here. You should have the settings option as well as the assign to section. In this case, it's just going to show you the last location for that device, but you might need to upgrade to premium for in order for you to see this one. So for example, if you want to require your sort of password to access Android settings, you could go ahead and enable this one just to protect uh, your uh, account here or your uh, actual app so that they won't be able to actually uninstall the actual app from the device. Because again, if they uninstall it, that you won't be able to uh, protect them or manage their device. Now, in this case, you go and turn that on and also the option to turn off these protect custodio settings if you want to. Now, when we go to family here and click one of the profile, you should now have the dashboard option, which includes a bunch of details regarding your account or the account that we just set up. So that includes the dashboard, the uh, actual device itself, the, the total screen time that they have, the screen time by hour. So you can basically view a few things here. These websites that was block apps and web activity, web searches, calls and messages, and YouTube activity. So this is a good way for you to manage or basically control what your kid is actually going to or the, the internet activity your kid has right now. So you also have the timeline, which in this case will show you different uh, uh, locations that your kid went to. So it's just going to show you some addresses. So I won't be able to show it to you exactly because it will contain some uh, personal details and some personal uh, details there. So let's go to rules now. Now from here, you have the following option. So you have the option to filter uh, your the websites that your kid will be accessing so for example websites uh you could even set the daily time limits here so for example if you want to filter a uh, certain websites so like for example if you want to not allow certain categories like for example you want to disable gambling as you can see it is uh, uh, disabled here but you could also allow it if you want to but then again uh you could go ahead and just retain it in here now, if you want to forbid natural social networks, you could basically click, click on the three dot icon here and just click on block here. Now, from here, you have the alerts here. So in this case, uh, searches, so you receive an alert when a child searches for a concerning content. So in this case, you'll be notified and have a conversation with them with this, with regarding this one. So yeah, so in this case, we also have the website section, which in this case, you have the option to basically add a specific website. Like for example, if you want to block Facebook, in here so let's just say facebook.com you could go ahead and uh, choose either allow or block or alert you or even ignore if you want to so if you want to allow that just click on our website and that should now be added in here so let's just wait for it to load up so this might take a while 
So in this case, uh, what are the other things we could do here? So just I'm going to delete this one. Let's go to rules again. So if you want to set the daily limit here, like for example, for Wednesday, you want to limit this to only like, for example, you want to limit this eight hours only. You can choose the day here if you want to, to limit their uh, screen R or the number of hours that you could use their mobile phone. And you could also uh, use the block option here. So in this case, uh, they will be you'll be able to uh, basically uh, unblock, uh, basically block their account here. So in certain cases, like for example, for the whole day here, it's going to actually uh, set how long it's going to block that device from being accessed. So you can either choose out or block here. So it depends on what your preference. So you also have the option for games and apps if you want to block certain apps here. So in this case, enable apps and uh, enable games and apps rules. And from that on, you should be able to manage the apps that will be installed. We also have the routines here. So for example, schedule calls and rules for specific moments of the day, even calls and messages here if you want to filter them out uh, specifically. But there are going to be certain additional instructions here in order for you to fully utilize this one. So I also have the panic button here, which in this case, if your child feels endangered or they feel uh, in an, if they feel they're not safe or in a unsafe environment, they could actually uh, click on the panic button on their device. So in this case, for you to enable this one, you need to follow the following steps here, which in this case, invite trusted contacts here, turn on the switch, on enable the panic button feature in the actual app itself. So in this case, you just need to open the app on the phone of your child here and show them the panic button. So yeah, so you could go ahead and add or enable this one and you could go ahead and invite trusted contacts in here. Like for example, your uh, parents or your cousin if they are a trusted contact. So yeah, if you want to manage your account, you can go to account here and manage your contact details, your password, your email, as well as your name. And if you want to receive weekly the email summary and daily email reports, you can go and enable that in here as well. Now, if you want to invite additional power here, you can go ahead and enter the email address and click on invite now. But yeah, so those are the basics here for Custodio Parental Control, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.